it's Crafty Ria, and welcome to another video. Well, you know what they say, April showers bring May flowers. So I am going to make a little flip book, an envelope flip book based on that. I'm in a swap or a tag over at Creativity Swaps, Happy Mail and Friendship with that theme. And I thought I would make this for my partner. So um, I went ahead and went through my Echo Park Hello Spring and Celebrate Spring collections and got out everything that had to do with April showers. So we have this here and we have this one here. It says raindrops keep falling on my head. We have April showers brings May flowers and we have keep your head in the clouds. And so I went ahead and picked out some envelopes that match them as you can see and I will go ahead and assemble this. I also picked out a couple other things. We have this cute little note card and these two papers. This has some rain and some umbrellas and it has the raindrops on the back. And of course we have these super fun rain boots. I love them. And then the stripe on the back. I have some flower, um, various scraps of cardstock from one of my last projects. And I have the sticker sheets from both of those collections. This one here has a lot more um, rainy type things on it. So I set that aside and I have those ready. So first I will show you how to assemble the flip book. I want to keep those in order over to the side so I remember how I want them. I have these envelopes that are um, almost A2 size envelopes. They measure, they're for a card that measures four inches by five and a half, and I have them in these fun colors. So in order to make the flip book, you can use any kind of envelopes that you have. It does not matter. I love using these because um, they make it so easy. So you just take your envelope and you have it open. And then you take your second sheet or second envelope and have it open. And you just put that right on in there and then fold it back on itself. It helps to, you know, fold it back and forth a couple times before you begin. And then your third one. And then however many pages you want, you can keep going on and on and on. And then your last one. And then what you'll do with the back piece, you'll fold it over and seal it on the back. So I'm going to take these apart again. I have a little bit of wet glue because wet glue gives me a minute or so to position it. And then I'm just going to put some wet glue along the envelope like that, the flap. And I'm going to just set this right on in here, position it and fold it back on itself and then press it down. Same thing with the next envelope. Like I said, you'll want to move these flaps up and down a little bit a couple of times, fold them back so they will fold real easy. And you'll line the fold of the envelope up with the edge and then fold it back on itself. And then you will do the in my case, the last one, you could go on. You can make this as many pages as you want. I 
I just happen to have four. And what's nice about this is I want to try to get them lined up. When you open your book, you have pockets on each page and you can stick some goodies in there. So I'm going to take this and fold it over on the back. Get my bone folder out and just kind of give that a nice crease there. And then I will put the glue along here. and fold that over. Spread that glue out. All right, so there you go, you have your book. Now mine didn't line up perfectly, it's got a little bit of yellow there, but that's okay. I just think that adds a little bit of color. So I'm going to go ahead and decorate it up each page. Those will be my focal points. I'll be using some of the scrap paper and some of the stickers. And I will come back and show you the finished product. Alrighty, I am back with the completed project. So here is the cover. I put some bling all around the edges in all the colors since we have the rainbow of colors there. Put a couple little cloud stickers at the top and one of the stickers from the sheet at the bottom. And then our first page, I used some of the papers and just cut two inch strips for inside of each page. Put a sticker there I blinked up this to make it look like it had raindrops on it. This says raindrops keep falling on my head. This sticker matched these flowers, so I put it on the top and the bottom, and I made some tags for the inside out of scraps of paper. I used this paper punch from Stampin' Up! I got at one of my friend's parties recently. It's great because you can use up to a two inch wide piece of paper, any length, and it just punches out that really cool top. So we have these tags and I just used some ribbon scraps um, randomly on the tags. Here is the next page. I put a little bit of bling on each one of those flowers and another piece of that same sticker and this really cute umbrella and the boot paper, which I love. I thought the colors all went together. And then this here says raindrops keep falling on my head. Since this is the yellow page and the umbrellas match, I just went ahead and put that note card right in there. Journaling block. And then I have these two tags. That's a great way to use up your scraps, making little tags. Here is the last page. I have the rainbow and I put bling on it. Now I know that's not a proper rainbow. The colors are not right, but um, I will um, I will get over it. I had some rainbow and cloud washi tape that I used to line this one and one of those cloud stickers. Here's another sticker and I put some clear star glitter pen on the raindrops there to make them sparkle. And then for this one, we have these two tags. And I didn't do anything for the very back. So there we have the Spring Showers, Spring May Flowers envelope flip book. You can make them for any occasion. They are really fun. Any number of pages 
and enjoy. I hope to see some of the ones that you make. And speaking of that, why not head over to my Facebook group, Create with Crafty Rhea. That's where we share all of our work. If you make something like this, I'd love to see it. Also, if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, the button right down there that says subscribe, just click that and then click the bell so you're notified whenever I upload a new video. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate you. And until the next video, you know what to do. Go get crafting. Bye-bye.